everyone, it's Robin. I thought I would just uh, pop in and share with you the progress that I've made on my mini that I'm working on. Uh, that I'm doing a series, as you may have uh, already seen on my YouTube channel. If not, this is if you're just seeing a uh, video like this for the first time, this is actually video number five. I am working through just some uh, tips and techniques that may perhaps help uh, those of you who are new or newer to uh, mini albums or just, uh, you know, basically I'm just sharing construction techniques and uh, I'll have a few tech, uh, tutorials coming up here very, very soon on how to make some interactive pages, some things that I've made in the past on my minis that uh, I have been uh, meaning to do tutorials on. I hope to get those uh, on my channel here very, very soon. So anyway, I wanted to share with you in the last video, I had all the papers just kind of laying there. I was distressing them a bit and I told you that I would be putting the album together as far as, you know, the pages, the bags and putting the papers on. So I just wanted to kind of share with you what I've done. Um, I just worked on one page so far and I haven't put the, the mat, the photo mat or the tags in there, but uh, I wanted to kind of just share with you. These, this is the Tim Coffee paper line, so this would be the, the flap that attaches to my cover. I think I'm going to zoom out a bit. It seems to be a bit close. Okay, and so I, I did do it on three sides for the purpose of creating a pocket, so you'll see that in just a bit because I plan on uh, putting the cover together uh, on this video. So, And then I just added some Prima flowers, and this is a lace trim that uh, goes all along the whole side there and this actually is the pocket so all of the pages will have uh, the, the tag in the pocket there and I stagger them so that you know you can see them on the side of the mini that way okay so basically all my pages are attached and they're ready to be embellished am I off screen I'm sorry I think I'll put it down just to make sure it's always frustrating when you notice you're off screen. <laughs> you don't know if you should stop it and start it again, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep on going. So you see these two flat paper bags. This is two bags attached together right there. And then this will be the last page. All the tags are basically the same, so I didn't bother taking them out. But <clears throat> Excuse me, that's what they look like. I think I'm coming down with the cold. My girls and I, all three of us, either that or the volcanic ash that's in our atmosphere over here is, is you know, triggering something. But <clears throat> anyway, I'm sorry if I clear my throat a lot in this video. And then this, of course, would be the back flap. So what I'm going to do is, you see I have my ScorePal tape. And all I'm going to do is just attach that to the cover here, just like that. And then the, sorry. This will create a pocket here because of the three sides. So I can add several tags in there. So take the liner off of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Okay. So it's fun to get this started. Okay. Now basically what I do is I just kind of line it up. I want to make sure that I have relatively the same amount on the top and bottom. And then making sure it's straight. I look about right. And then I'll adhere it down. Okay, just like that. Actually it looks like it's crooked a little bit, doesn't it? No, it's just the bags. Okay, good. <laughs> and then I'll add my spine later. And then do the same for the back cover. There's no way to prep this ahead of time. I wanted to share how I attach the covers. So, okay. Now for this part, this is my back cover. So, just kind of line this up this way because I want them to be even. So I'm sorry this isn't a good view for you. I really do need to see that they're even though, so I have to hold it up at this angle. Okay. <clears throat> and now I haven't secured it down yet. To move it just a little bit down this way. Let's see how this sits. Make sure it stands up good. Okay. All right. Now I think I'm ready to burnish these uh, the back cover down. And then I have the pocket in this as well. 
you know, I can slide embellishments in there. Now this will be the last video that I will actually share um, on the mini construction. I have a binding technique tutorial in another video, so I'm not going to share that. And I really don't, I, I don't think I'll have time to share the, the page by page decorating. I will show you the finished product when I'm done though. But I'm going to do probably two, possibly three more video tutorials uh, with the interactive pages. And then the last video in the series will be, I'll share with you the, uh, the finished album. Uh, I think I'm going to add, I'm planning on adding photographs to this before I give it to my mom. Because she doesn't really, she's, she doesn't do anything with paper crafts. So I don't know, you know, at what point I'll show you. I'm going to try and show you before I add the photographs, just, you know, in case my family doesn't want to be on film. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. I'll be back in a day or so with the uh, interactive page tutorials. Uh, there's going to be, like I said, two, possibly three. So I hope that this has been helpful to you in seeing how I attach the covers. And I hope you give it a try. I know many of you have said that you're you're new to this and you know, you're trying to build up the courage that somebody even mentioned to go ahead and do one. I would just highly recommend just start it. You can't go wrong. And even if you do, you know, make a an, an you know, construction error, it's just an opportunity to learn. So and, and it is very rewarding. It's a lot of fun to do. And uh, so I would encourage you to just give it a try. You know, you can get the paper bags, especially if you live in the States, like a hundred of them for a couple dollars. So, um, you know, what have you got to lose, really? A couple sheets of paper and just a, a great opportunity to learn. And so I would encourage you that way. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. I am always happy to help. I will get back with you. And um, if not, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.